Ooh, diamonds! I, oh, I like diamonds. I would like more diamonds. I just want diamonds. Can't I have more diamonds? Oh, diamonds. Diamonds? Demons. Demons! Expand the diamond mines! Demons! I love diamonds. Demons! What's going on, everyone? It's me, Goatee Rambler! And today, we return once again to Hearts of Iron 4. Uh, now, just before we begin the scenario, uh, this is the updated A New World Order mod, or it's the, it's the new demo for it, essentially. Uh, and what this is, is the New Order Don't Surf. Uh, this is set in 1962, and Europe rests under the jack boot. Uh, so the Ger Germany has, has won. It, it, it wins the, the Second World Kerfuffle. Hilter lays on his deathbed, uh, and it, it's basically Germany's going to kind of implode in on itself. I very much enjoyed the demo a few months ago, and this new demo focuses in Africa, particularly the Dominion of South Africa, the Reich Commissar Schenk of Sudwest Africa, the hedonistic Siegfried Müller of Central Africa, and the imperious and fanatical Rights Commissar Hans Uttig of Ost Africa. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to playing through this new demo. Uh, I really enjoyed the first iteration and I'm looking forward to playing more. I do need to do a bit of a channel update now. This won't last for long uh, and I know a lot of you will skip it but I would ask you not to skip it as it relates to your Hearts of Iron content, alright? Uh, content might be a bit more sporadic over the next couple of weeks. Uh, I'm having a very stressful time in my personal life at the moment. Uh, I know you're very much enjoying when my girlfriend appears from the distance uh, in the in the intros. Uh, that won't be able to happen for much longer, as in a few days I need to fly back to the UK. Uh, my medical insurance is running out in Canada, and they won't extend it to cover um, CB19. Uh, so I can't afford to be in a country where I'm uh, I don't have access to healthcare i'd have to pay for it all privately and if i have to go to hospital it will financially ruin me so i'm being forced to fly to the back to the uk essentially so i don't know when i'm going to see my partner again um and i also run the risk of you know getting infected either at the airport or on the plane and then passing that on to my family who i'll be staying with and i'm i'm very stressed at the thought of getting them sick um as well so i'm just having a very stressful time in my personal life so there might be interruptions in content uh and coinciding with that the channel has also had a really bad month um just in terms of, of viewership uh so i'll be reverting back to videos which i know should do well ish um i can't really afford to experiment too much with content at the moment because I've suffered a 60% drop in advertising revenue because of this global pandemic, uh, pretty much every other channel would have encountered the same thing. So uh, I need to focus on content which I know will keep bringing revenue because I, I have a, a very close friend of mine who now edits for me full time. And quite frankly, I don't think the channel would be running as much without him at the moment. So... Um, Got to, got to keep that fella paid and got to keep making a living for myself, you know. Uh, should be able to ride this out for, for however long this, this happens. Um, you know, uh, I'm I'm not a quitter. I will keep, I'll keep on trekking. I'm a grinder. I've been grinding on YouTube for almost a decade. So I'm, I'm not scared of a few challenges. Uh, but yeah, my, my personal life is, is, is stressful at the moment. So please be patient with me. Um... Please be kind in the comments if you would, that would be much appreciated. Uh, I really want to move on from hairline jokes now, please try and avoid them. I think I've encountered tens of thousands of them over the past year and a half. To, to begin with I tried to own it and turn it into a bit of a joke as well, uh, but then it, it really got away from me and now all people see is a, is a hairline joke creator. Um, and I think I'm a lot more than a hairline, or lack of. Ah! Uh, but yeah, like, I suffer from male pattern baldness. A lot of men in the world do, too. A lot of you that make fun of it will probably encounter it in your life, too. It's nothing to be worried about. I've been uh, losing my hair for about, ooh, nine years. Like, it's just, it's just, that's, that's it. That's, that's all that's happening. In a, in a little bit, I'll probably just go, eh. And then you'll get a bald goatee rambler. And I think I'll look freaking badass, so... You know, 
Uh, but yeah, um, content will still hopefully continue throughout my time in the UK. I'm just rather stressed at the prospect of not seeing my partner again for an indefinite amount of time because because Canada are not allowing any visitors to enter the country and I don't have any form of residency. I'm working on it. Um, I'm, I'm setting up a company in Canada and then I'll be sponsoring myself to work for myself. So it's just a very long and expensive process. I don't want to go into any more detail than that because I've complained about it a lot on, on my Twitch streams and stuff. So I've, oh God, it's a pain, it's a pain. But you know, it's worth it. Or will be worth it in the end, hopefully. There won't be content every day, uh, probably just every two to three days now, because I'm I'm just um, I've got other stuff to worry about, uh, to be honest. <laughs> oh, apparently YouTube is trialing a feature. So if you have a YouTube Premium subscription, uh, it gives you a free monthly YouTube membership. Um, so if you want to use that on me, feel free. You just click the Join button. If you click on the like Alex the Rambler channel bit, go click Join, and then I, I think if you're in the UK at least, you can gift a free subscription. So if you want to do that, that'll help me out as well. No no pressure. It's, it's, it's fine if you don't. Uh, I think that's it. Thank you for your patience and your support over the past few years. I've been doing YouTube full time now for almost three years and as a hobby for, oh, I don't know, at least a decade. So uh, thank you for making this a reality. Now we're going to play the game. <laughs> Okay, so we could play as the Union of South Africa, a monarchy without a monarchy and a nation without direction. Uh, there's also the Wolfgang Schenk as the Reichskommissariat Sudwest Africa. Uh huh. We have the Reichskommissariat of Central Africa. Or we have Ost Africa. I think I'm going to play as South Africa. We're going to go for the Commonwealth. South Africa has found itself increasingly struggling to hold back the forces of unrest waiting to tear the nation asunder. While the Boers have never managed to take power in the nation, their presence is felt more and more as they clamour for either representation or outright independence. Sorry, this text is very small. We have a divided nation, oh dear. Uh, we have desperate neutrality, uh oh, well we might be able to change that, and an empty throne, oh. Uh, South Africa's situation is slowly falling into chaos. Uh, we could try and maintain the status quo, or we have the African National Congress. And we're currently led by Sir de Villers Graf. So Germany has, has won, and this is the state of the world. The Italian Empire... What the frick has happened here? Have they... What the heck have they done to the map? Oh my god. Oh yeah, Russia's just torn asunder. <laughs> uh, like Japan, uh, like China's a mess. Like the whole world's a freaking mess. Uh, so let's just play. We still have the United States of America. They're still they're still going. But yeah, we'll start. Sorry for um, that long update. I probably share a bit more of my life than I need to, but that's that's a big. This will affect the channel. Me moving back to the UK. Um, but yeah. Anyway, region info. Oh my gosh. Mod features. Uh huh. Oh, there's an economy mechanic. Oh no. So I'm probably going to run my economy into the ground. This is probably going to be quite a tricky one. All right, onwards. So we actually control a fair amount of territory. We have a fair amount of units too. While I'm a fan of the mod in general, I'm not really a fan of the colour scheme. I... It, it doesn't... I don't know. I just don't really like it. It's quite confusing. I much prefer the base one. Maybe that's just because I'm used to it. Okay, we'll get extra radar. Our industry also isn't too hot right now. Oh, we have various military and civilian construction. Okay, let's take a look at our economy. Uh, okay, so we're in an annual deficit. Am I just really old? Because I'm really struggling with all of these uh, designs, which I know are probably a lot of effort has gone into making these, but it just doesn't... I think I'm getting old. So we're lacking steel. Sweden, I'll get some steel from you. Oh no, never mind. <laughs> Maybe I won't. We're low on manpower, uh-huh. Oh my god. Select a national focus. South Africa is slowly falling into chaos. Yep. We're on the brink of total collapse. Okay. So if you look at the factions... Uh, oh wow, the triumvirate... Oh, whoops. Look at the triumvirate, they're a chunky boy. So is the Unity Pact. Uh, the Organisation of Free Nations and South Africa's just chilling out, I guess. Oh, we have a lots of decisions that we could do. Ooh, diamonds! Oh, I like diamonds. We will gain an extra one diamond a month. Yes. Sure. I like diamonds. 
Give me the diamonds. The issues we face. Alone in the wild. Ah. Oh, this text is so much better. It's so much easier to follow. I can actually read this. <laughs> Do I need stronger glasses, though? There's so much text. Our dominion stands alone on the continent as a genuine state that is not corrupted by the horrific and brutal ideology. It stands alone. Mm-hmm. Gets the event The Quiet American. The Germans are funneling support to the National Party. <gasps> oh, yeah. So we've got authoritarian democracy. Oh, wow. Okay. So we've got lots of different parties. We have various military laws. Women are banned from service. Oh, we can get operatives. Okay, let's build a... Maybe in Sudwest. Let's just have a little scoot a boot. Oh, Hilton Ames Goering as his successor. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. The monarchy debate. I think we should have the monarchy. Let's get a speech. Yes. A tall man stepped out of the plane, carrying himself down the steps, breathing in the South African air. Okay, so I presume a spy from the USA has come on in, serving in the shadows, waiting in the mist. There's so much text. We can rule over this land as a republic with its president at its head, but what is the point of striving for this and not to perform for the people? Men of the Union Party, uh-huh. Oh, the Boers are making, uh, right, okay. So this is all just politics. <laughs> They're trying, to, they're trying to make sure that the monarchy uh, doesn't return. And I could actually say... Oh, I could actually take him to the judge. I'm going to... No, no, no. It's his, it's his right as a member of parliament to insult the crown. He's allowed to do that. I'm a bit concerning. National parties... Oh, yeah, no. The f Ooh, the HNP are getting more popular. Not good for me. TBH. The portraits that they've designed look really nice. Oh, who's that? Oh, we got Mr. Nixon in charge. Oh. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Is that Franco? Wow, he's old, isn't he? He's getting on. Mussolini's gone and got Chiano. Oh. The son-in-law of Mussolini. There's so much text. There's so much to this mod. It's baffling. The amount of detail that they're putting into this is quite bonkers. Okay, so we're going to have a referendum on the monarchy soon. Oh, I would like to keep the... Above all, we want equal political rights, because without them our disabilities will be permanent. I know this sounds revolutionary to the whites. The person speaking is Nelson Mandela, a man on trial for four counts of sabotage and attempting to overthrow his government. Oh, uh, the defendant is sentenced to life imprisonment. Oh my. Okay, let's schedule a referendum. Uh-huh. <laughs> Jeez Louise. Ooh. 20 divisions, so our army isn't too... Too bad. We've got 180,000 men in the field. Okay, okay, okay. Most of them have guns. I would like more diamonds. Oh, I could lower worker pensions. I just want diamonds. Can't I have more diamonds? So we're down to 14% stability and uh, not a, lot, a whole lot of war support. I don't see how South Africa can recover from this. So I would just like to get on a boat and maybe just sail over here to St. Helena Helena, and chill out. That's what I would do. Referendum celebrations. Despite the great opposition put up by the Union Party, Herzog's party came out victorious. South Africa would have to put up with the Boers. They were getting clutch closer to their much-deserved victory to control greater of the land. Oh. A plan for the future? Yep. <laughs> the future looks grim enough as it is. Yeah, it certainly does. Oh my gosh. I wonder when we get Germany to implode upon itself. That'd be nice to see. Oh, Wales is independent. Got the union. Scotland is also. Scotland's also independent. Hey, okay, manu. I don't know why I say that. I apologise. I apologise, Scotland. Okay, choosing our strategy. I could support the ANC or get rid of them. So uh, we have no alternatives. The Dominion should bring down the ANC. And that way, because I, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just role playing here. Let's increase the support for the monarchy. Ha ha! Oh dear. The rebellious natives are the biggest threats to us. Oh dear. I guess the proper thing to do would be to talk to, talk to the ANC uh, and then release political prisoners, etc, etc. Instead, I'm going to be putting the army on high alert and riot training. Oh my. Oh dear. Okay, I think I've gone down the naughty route. Holy moly, what is this bad boy? And then I can increase the support for the monarchy whenever we're under. Ooh, the collapse of the triumvirate. Oh, dearie me. Um, posters appear on the cape. Okay, this will reduce support for the monarchy. How dare you, sir? 
We must have the monarchy. Oh, I love, I love a massive bombardment. Boom, boom, boom. With me guns and me artillery, my, li my little pecker. I mean, um, okay, I will restrict their protests or further instigate the ANC and do heavy-handed measures. Oh, dear. Uh, I could maintain our neutrality. Yes. Why not? South Africa saved itself from German supremacy by carefully playing its cards and refusing to recognise Edward or Elizabeth. Oh, just keep the other factions happy, right? I don't need to get involved with nothing. People can go on their own little wars. I can just chill out and about. Oh, Brazil wins the World Cup in 1962. There you go. There are a lot of events for a demo. Actually, this demo was two gigabytes. I don't know many mods that even are that size. Usually they're like 100 megabytes. How long is it going to take me to build a factory? Apparently quite a long time because I've got to... Oh, look at that construction time. Oh, you hate to see that. Okay, restrict their protests. Give me diamonds. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm going to decrease the military budget. Oh, no, I'm not actually. Use all my liquid reserves to pay off my national debt. Ooh. Oh, I don't have any liquid reserves. I don't think we're going to be able to do too much in this... Um... In this, in this mod, I don't know when we're going to be able to have a little cheeky war with someone. Oh my god, the world tension is very high, isn't it? The Hawaiian Missile Crisis. Okay, further investigate the ANC. I'm just looking forward to this turning into a massive mess. Uh, well, former, the former Russian uh, Russian states are all going, having a, having a rollicking good time. Oh wow, yeah, the triumvirate has just completely collapsed. <laughs> I'm looking forward to when there's a, a German focus tree. That would be quite fun to, to do that. Heavy-handed measures. Oh, dear. Enforce the law to the utmost. Small but sure and swift. Oh, gosh. Let's just do small. The army on high alert. Ah, oh, jeez. This isn't going to go very well for me at all, is it? I, 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 uh... Okay. Let's try and convert the Orange Free State to support the monarchy. So we have... Mixed support, high support, low support, but uh, a very low support in orange. One day in Biop Tong. The, some arrests were made, okay. Army's now on high alert. Watch out, watch out. What are you going to do? What are you going to do when I come for you? Crack down on their publications. How much political power am I getting every turn? Per day, 0.58. Oh, I'm a tax haven. Maybe I'll move there. Okay, uh, who is leading them? Okay, we're going to try and take out the leaders of the protests. Good, let it happen. And now let's... Suppress voters in the Orange Free State. Boom, I'm coming for you. Ooh. Okay, that's going to increase support for the monarchy. A few kilometres off the shore of Cape Town is a small, flat, oval-shaped island. Recently has become a new permanent home to a number of radical prisoners. Hmm. Well, let's sort them out. Who is funding them? Yes, who is who is funding all of these protests and supporters? I will just destroy you all. So we have support for the monarchy. Da, 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 da. 58, 58, 64, 81 in the Cape. So should we go to a Buchan land? Buchwana, sorry, Bekwana, Bekwana. I don't, yeah, people want the monarchy. Got our troops on high alert on the border. Got a couple of forts here. Oh wow, they've actually changed the templates around. That looks cool. Look at that! Look at that guy! I can't even do anything with my intelligence agencies because I don't have enough civilian factories. <laughs> Broadcast anti-ANC propaganda! Oh man, I'm definitely getting demonetized. Anyway. Alright, I'm back. With mid bollocks. No, well not with those. I don't know why my webcam is really lagging. I apologize. I don't know why that is. But here's Machonka. Yeah, it's... Really, really lag. I don't know why. Sorry. I'll try and fix that for uh, for the next video. I can try and fix it now, actually. Yeah, I'll try and fix it now. <laughs> okay, I think I've fixed it a little bit. Have I? I think I have. I will be getting new equipment, so you won't always have this, like, pixely, terrible webcam, all right? I, I am going to invest in new equipment, if you're watching at this point. <laughs> A lot of you don't watch the end of my videos. It's a travesty. Absolute travesty. I've lost all respect for you. How dare you not watch these half hour videos? No, I'm kidding. It's... God, jeez, I'm such. <laughs> Specialised riot training. 
Of course, yes, I would love some. While our police are now well equipped to take care of armed bands, there's another pressing issue. We can't simply open fire on unarmed demonstrators, we need to devise tactics. Yeah, I really hope they haven't removed the events where Hilter dies, because that erupted into like a massive civil kerfuffle, um, which is always fun to see. Our income to deficit ratio is 117%. Just let it burn. Let the whole thing burn. Okay, we're going to radicalise the ANC. In an effort to protect South Africa from instability, we must constantly be battle-ready. With tensions rising to unheard levels and several irresponsible radicals pushing our country's African majority to violence, we should be called to defend our nation sooner than we might expect. Oh, diamonds. Diamonds? Demons. Demons! Expand the diamond mines! Demons! I love diamonds. Give me everything that looks pretty. Oh, Madagascar has declared war on the Republic of Madagascar. All right. And the Hindguat movement and the Rights Commissariat. Oh, okay. Madagascar, look at that. Oh, that's a mess. What am I looking like? Conservative democracy is looking like it's going to win. Noish, 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 noish. The Citizens Defence Force. Um, I don't... Mm, no, nah, do we... Mm, so we still have the empty throne, a desperate neutrality, yep, yeah, and we still have a divided nation. Oh, I could pacify the ANC, yes, then for South Africa, ooh. Okay, let's reassure the Americans, they're our closest trade partners. Okay, Americans are reassured. America! And we will now do the same with Germany. What was that? <laughs> Oh, yeah, the, 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 the pact angle will be lowered by 6%. Nice, and Germany give us, gives, us, gives us some weapons. Nice. Rebuff their diplomats. As expected, both the USA and Germany have tried to make us join their alliances. With the old order crumbling with every passing day, they are trying to strengthen themselves for the coming storm and are enlisting all possible help. Predictably, our envoys have returned. Yeah, 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 with track loads. Of course we'll do no such thing. Our neutrality is paramount. Okay. Did I say we will, we will gain diamonds? Oh, <gasps> Demons. When will the German leader die? Make him die, make him die. When will he die? <laughs> Ian Smith is shot. Despite the police best efforts in the turn to dead ends. Pull over the f Oh my god. We will not per pervert justice to placate the mob. That might bring my stability down to 1%, but that's... <laughs> Fortify just in case. The world is on the brink of another major crisis and our neutrality may serve us very little as it did for Belgium and the Netherlands. <laughs> okay, we'll fortify our borders. Let's go. I should probably assign front lines, but you know what? We'll leave it for a nil. We'll leave it. If I do end up getting into a, a war, I'm absolutely screwed, to be honest with you. I would like diamonds. Give me with diamonds. Uh, trade with the pact is available. Would you like diamonds? Expand the demons. Okay, so I've almost finished the focus tree. I don't know what's going to happen after this. We'll pacify the ANC. Uh, my party popularity is quite chonky. That reminds me. Oh, that's hot. Has Burgundy finally done it? Oh dear. Oh, that's a large, that's a large, that's a large, that's a large, that's a large nuclear. Mm. Okay, for South Africa. Here we Go. With our internal problems solved, or at least contained for the time being, we we'll begin addressing more pressing concerns. There is so much to be done for the good of our country. Forward to the future. I don't meet the requirements. I guess I wait and see what happens. Oh, he's gone! Hilter is dead. Albert Herzog calls for a national vigil. Why do I get... Why does my stability drop again? Oh my giddly goo. Police refuse to crack down on the... The Boers must be stopped. Their army... Their army must be sent... The army must be sent in. Okay, yep. Oh, the end of the Reich. Uh, Germany's... Oh, this is it. This is it. That's a great little sound. Um, so Heydrich's declared war on Spears, Germany. Oh my. Let it turn into a... <laughs> wow. Bormann, Speer, Goering... I pre I'm presuming... Uh... Oh, he's not doing anything. Oh, there's Heydrich, Goering, Speer... Heydrich again, Bormann, let them all fight amongst themselves. The Cape Town Ma- Oh dear. Oh no. The results of the referendum have been announced. The city of Germania will now be garrisoned by the forces of Spiegel, Rommel and other Germans loyal to their cause in neutrality. Oh, look at that! They've even made like a little- I think that's taken- Would they have made that themselves, this little image? Or is it from the Man in High Castle? Yeah, so I'm- I'm pretty, uh, doomed. The monarchist winning with... Hey, we won! We won! 
Uh, the Reich is divided, of course. Oh my goodly goo. Yeah, it's all falling apart for them, really, isn't it? Oh, of course, Africa. The frickin' faction will unite there. Cold Donitz seizes the Crimea. Um, oh my god, what is happening here? Donitz, what are you doing, mate? The franco bungdernian War? Oh my god, it's all kicking off, isn't it? Well, the French state appears to be screwed because of Himmler going in. Oh, no. For South Africa. Let's go. Yay. The Boer Republic. How many divisions do they have, I wonder? I don't know. All I know is I'm out of fuel. I don't... I've got negative 55 stability. Oh, dear. Uh, I... 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 I think I'm screwed. Of course. Of course it messes up. Why are the front line? Why why are you the way that you are, front lines? Just go in and take blot flomin. Perhaps the Boas should have prepared for a little more. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, Mandela has. Oh dear. Well, I think that this is going to be. I'm now at war with the Reich's Commissariat, Africa. Why? Just leave me alone, assholes. Oh, England's uh, having a civil war. Um, okay, I uh, need to fall back. I don't know how much territory I can lose. Probably none. My surrender limit must be absolutely atrocious, but I mean, what choice do I have but to fall back behind this river line here? Eh? I have no choice. I'm, all, I'm just going to completely capi- The ANC revolts. So I probably didn't play this how I should have done. And now I'm getting absolutely punished. Oh, I don't know. Wait, 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 wait. You're telling me I had another army. I had militia. We're saved. We're freaking saved. Get to your defensive positions. Why is everyone trying to gobble me? What did I do to deserve this, eh? All I wanted was Elizabeth. So I'm probably doomed. We shall not go down without a fight, though. Germany is uh, pretty chonky compared to my units, it seems. The Yanks are coming. Thanks. Yanks, tile by tile, I'm just getting pushed back. Yeah, I can't do anything. I'm I'm just, I'm getting absolutely screwed. Okay, we might have to set up a final defensive formation here. We need them to fall back to the final defensive points. Just kidding. Could I have prepared more for this? Yep, yeah, well, well, it's over. I'll observe now. Wow, that went terribly, didn't it? Holy moly. Well, the Boas won, it's now the Boa Republic. Good for you guys. Sure, 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 sure. Uh, what happened in Germany? Uh, let's just observe Germany for a bit, shall we? That was a complete rambler fail, though. Nice. I'm looking forward to when this is more updated, for sure. This is a great mod. Uh, I still can't get used to the blue text, but that's probably just a personal preference. So, Bormann's doing all right. Goering's on the back foot. And they could actually take over the various nations now. That'd be fun. Although there's no national focus tree, right? There's, there's no national focus tree, so there's no point. It looks like Borman's going to win. Yep, a Borman has won the uh, Civil War. There we go. Is that led by... Yep, it's now led by Martin Borman. All right. Well, on that note, I think I'm going to end it here today. Uh, I'll leave a link to the mod in the description. If you did enjoy the video, please do leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll be back very soon. Toodaloo. Many thanks to Onion Duck, Maximilian Foreman, Wire Green, Fat Boston, Zechariah Mosby, Warren P. George, Gregory Craven, Adave the Don, Lambert, Valhalla Halls, Goosey Dibs, Yeah Boy, Wombat Cookie, Da Falcon, Ryan Koch, Jack Troku, Aiden Shear, Jiggly Crotch, Use Beef, Sean Young, and Logan Whaley for being ridiculous brand supporters on Patreon, and many thanks to all the other patrons too!